Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this problem, we're going to find the limit as x approaches 1 of this expression. So whenever you're finding limits, the first thing you should always try is to plug in the number. So if we plug in 1, we get 1 minus 2, right? because 1 squared is 1 and 1 cubed is 1, plus 1 over 1 minus 1. So we end up with, let's see, it's going to be the top is 2 minus 2. So that's 0, and the bottom is 0. So this is an example of what's called an indeterminate form. Okay, So whenever you have something like this, you can use what's called L'Hopital's rule. So let's use it. So L'Hopital's rule says that we basically take the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom. So let's do that. So the derivative of the top, let's see, the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. The derivative of negative 2x squared is negative 4x. And the derivative of 1 is 0. On the bottom, we have the derivative of x cubed minus 1. That should just be 3x squared. And the derivative of negative 1 is 0, so we won't write it. So again, we plug in 1. We got 0 over 0. This is what's called an indeterminate form. So whenever you have a form like 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, you can use something called L'Hopital's rule. And that basically says that you take the derivative of each piece. So we did that, and now we ask ourselves, can we plug in the number 1? Well, yes, yes we can. So when we plug in the number, we drop the limit sign, and we replace all of the x's with 1's. So this is 3 times 1 squared minus 4 times 1 over 3 times 1 squared. So 3 times 1 squared is 3, and then this is just minus 4 over 3. 3 minus 4 is negative 1, and then we just get a 3 here on the bottom. So the final answer ends up being negative 1 over 3. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.